Welcome back to a Skewed Reviews, and throughout the month of October, I'm doing a theme called Spooky Season Suggestions, and this is where I'm going through all of the horror movie suggestions that I've gotten from my viewers throughout the year that I just haven't gotten to yet. So the viewer request for today is for the 1989 film, Shocker. Here is your trivia question for today. What distinctive feature reveals who Pinker is possessing? The answer will be at the end of this episode. So in the movie Shocker, there's a killer on the loose called Horace Pinker. Now Pinker keeps attacking families and managing to get away with it. That is at least until a college student named Jonathan Parker is able to find Pinker in his dreams. Unfortunately though, he discovers this ability too late, as his family has been the next one taken out. So Jonathan manages to convince his father, who is a police lieutenant, that he knows who the murderer is and where to find him. Jonathan does end up being correct, but unfortunately Pinker does manage to escape. And now the big issue is, Pinker now takes out his girlfriend as revenge. Jonathan now does everything within his power to catch Pinker, and they manage to do so. Pinker gets sent to the electric chair, but unfortunately it appears that not even death can stop him. After making a deal with the devil, Pinker now has the ability to jump from body to body. So can Jonathan and his friends figure out some way of stopping Pinker? This movie was written and directed by Wes Craven. Now Craven originally conceived this idea to be either a television series or potentially a franchise like A Nightmare on Elm Street. Craven even started writing Shocker due to the fact that the second and third Nightmare on Elm Street sequels had diminished in quality as at this time he was only helping with writing and producing for those. Unfortunately, Shocker also only received a lukewarm reception, so no franchise was to be made. Wes Craven, by the way, does have a brief cameo in this film, as he appears as one of the neighbors at the end of the movie. Peter Berg plays the character of Jonathan Parker in this film. Now what's interesting is, some years later after the movie had been out, Berg expressed interest in directing a remake with him playing the character of Pinker. And speaking of the character of Horace Pinker, he was played by Mitch Pileggi. In case you feel like you recognize Pileggi, he has been in quite a few things, but probably his most prominent role was as Skinner in The X-Files. Probably another familiar face to you if you're a big fan of horror movies is Ted Raimi, who plays the character of Pac-Man. The road worker that Pinker takes over was played by guitarist Kane Roberts, who was a guitarist for Alice Cooper. The jogger in the film was played by Wes Craven's own son, Jonathan Craven. Now, he was not the only child of Wes Craven to appear in this film, as his daughter, Jessica Craven, appears as the woman working the counter. This was actually the last movie to be released on video cassette under the MCA home video banner, before the name was officially changed to MCA Universal Home Video. This entire movie was filmed in California. There were talks of remaking this film in the early 2000s, and potentially having Henry Rollins play the character of Pinker. Honestly, I could totally see him doing that. The main antagonist in the 2004 video game The Suffering is called Horace P. Gage. His name and fate are a direct reference to this film. So when it comes to the film Shocker, this is definitely an 80s classic, but I don't think it's all that great of a movie. There's a lot of it that's really confusing and just doesn't make any sense and gets really ridiculous at times. It is still a fun watch though, so if you haven't seen it, I would definitely still recommend checking it out. But for me, I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 5. Now if you did enjoy this movie, other films I recommend checking out are The Frighteners, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Lawnmower Man 2 Beyond Cyberspace, and Fallen. And now it's time to answer the trivia question from the beginning of this episode. What distinctive feature reveals who Pinker is possessing? So apparently when you die in this film, all of your ailments are still there in the afterlife, as anyone who Pinker possesses has his same limp. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews. If there's a movie that you'd like to see get a review, just mention it in the comments.